Hello and welcome back. In this session we're going to look at uh, hashing the uh, password field in the database itself. Uh, so let's look at where we are uh, here on our login form. Okay, uh, again let's uh, just run this uh, one here. Um, if I run the actual one here, so again when I run it uh, I have to either to log in okay, with my username and password or register. So let's uh, register a new uh, uh, name here. So uh, it'll be uh, uh, username of Joe, okay, his password is pass, okay, and his full name is Joe Blogs. Okay, and we'll submit that, okay, and we get user added to database, okay, we're happy over there. I'll say okay, okay, and now let's log in with Joe and the username pass, or the password pass, should I say, log in, and then we get uh, our form here saying hello, Joe Blogs. Okay, so let's uh, uh, close this out now and uh, look at the um, uh, encrypting the password field itself. So if I go in to look at my table uh, users here, show table data. Okay, so there's the um, the user ID, uh, username, and you can see Joe. But I can see here that the password here is pass. Okay, and I want to be able to, I want that encrypted. Okay, uh, again, uh, C-sharp allows for uh, uh, that to, uh, to be done. Okay, and we'll do it by creating a, a new class file here. Okay, so I'll go to Solutions Explorer. Okay, and add a new uh, uh, item to my uh, one here. Okay, and it's going to be a class. So I'll click on Class, and I'm going to give this a name of a hash code. Hash code. Okay, that's yeah, I'll add this to the Okay, so let's just give us a bit of room to work with here. Uh, pin this. Okay, uh, so with the hash code, what I want to be able to do is first I need uh, I need to be uh, I need a using statement here. And what I want to be able to be using is uh, system uh, dot security. Okay, dot cryptography okay. uh, so I need to be using that okay uh, and I go to create okay uh, a new um, a method I'll just use the uh, default constructor here okay so we'll have a public okay string okay I'm going to give this uh, method I uh, call it pass hash uh, uh, hash okay and again what we're going to be doing here uh, with this particular method is we want to be able to pass in uh, a string of data in order for it to be encrypted okay so uh, this will take uh, an argument okay string okay and I'll just call it data okay so my method now I'll open my brace and close it here Okay, uh, so what do we want in here? First, I need to create a new instance of the uh, the SHA one. Okay, uh, uh, there. Uh, so again, I'm, uh, if I type in SHA, you can see SHA one is going up my IntelliSense. Okay, I'll give that a name. I'll just call it SHA. Okay, and that will be uh, SHA one. Uh, SHA one dot okay create it's because we want to create method okay so uh create okay which is method so again what we're doing is creating a new instance of uh of that particular uh, object okay now what we want to be able to do is when something is passed into it is uh is to convert that input uh, of text into an array of bytes Okay, so we'll use our uh, byte array here. Okay, byte array. Okay, our squares. Okay, I'm going to give this a name. I'll call it hash data. Just so we have a different name for each uh, one here. Okay, and this will be SHA. Okay, uh, what we just call our. our uh, our new object, okay, um, compute hash, 
compute hash. Okay, uh, again, terminate the line. Okay, and this will take. Uh, sorry, that's what that should be. Okay, and this will take uh, the encoding argument. Okay, of the data that's entered. Okay, so we have encoding. Uh, encoding. Okay, uh, dot default. Okay, uh, dot get bytes. Okay, our get bytes method. Okay, and w again, this uh, will need to, will take an argument, and it will take the argument of okay the data that's going to be entered into it. Okay, so see here we string data. So it's B A T A. Okay, so have our data going in. Okay, so you can see that one there. Okay, let's. Um, uh, look at this okay so we have uh, data now so what I want to do now is I want to create a string builder okay a new instance of string builder to save the hashed data okay so we'll bring up our string builder object uh, string builder okay um, and the, uh, this string builder is going to return a value so I'll just call it uh, ret uh, value Okay, and we'll set that to a new okay string builder. Okay, uh, okay. So again, uh, so we uh, after the data is passed passed in, okay, it's uh, okay uh, converted into an array of bytes. Okay, and then we want to pass that array of bytes back out into uh, a string builder uh, one by one. So we can use a, a loop for that. So again, we'll have a for loop. Okay, let's uh, put in our for loop here. So for tab tab again, Just speed it up a little bit. Okay, so for int i t equals zero, and for as long as whatever, so it's going to be the hash data here. Okay, uh, the length of the hash data. So. I hash data dot length. Okay, and then we have our I plus plus. Okay, and uh, sorry, length there should be a capital. Okay, uh, again, uh, so what we what we want to return? Okay, uh, I now back to a string. Okay, so that will be our return value here, which is mentioned here. So let's put that in. So our Return value. Okay. Uh, dot append. Okay. We uh, use our append method here. Okay. And um, what do we want to uh, we want uh, hash data. Okay. Uh, uh, again. Now uh, again we're passing in, so it's I. Okay. And we want that to string. Okay, so that looks okay there. Uh, just uh, turn this. Okay, and again, we'll just return our value to. Let me just check that. Okay, so to string is a method. Uh, okay, and what do I, I want to return? Just return, return, return value. Okay, uh, to string. String. And terminate the line. Okay, so there's our class now for uh, the hash data. Okay, this, this is this class is going to hash it. So when I, when I call this class anywhere within the uh, uh, one here, I can just use a uh, 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 this class to hash. So when it comes to, I'll have to put it in two places. Okay, first of all, where we register, uh, and secondly, where we uh, register, because that's going to have to write it, and log in, that's going to have to read it. Okay, so let's look at that. Let's go to our register. Okay, so there's our form. And so again, when we pass in the password here, we can, let's look at that in the code. We can see here, this is where the password is passed in as uh, text.password. Okay, uh, so the first thing I want to do here is um, 
Sassier that class. Okay, so uh, that class is uh, called hash code. Uh, hash code. Okay, uh, I'll just call it HC. Okay, and that'll be a new instance of that class. Okay, and I'll come down here. Now again, if I start typing in, this is, remember, this is holding the value of whatever's put into that field. Okay, and it's passed into this, so it can be this, this, uh, uh, okay, so the, the value's open into the database. Okay, so let's, uh, so it'll be HC, okay. Just look at it here. Uh, okay, let's look at just give you some space here. Let's use our IntelliText here as well. Okay, so again, I'm going to use the class, so uh, HC. And you can see there it comes up under IntelliSets, HC. Uh, I can use then my dot notation. Okay, and there I can see pass hash, which is the method we just created. Uh, so double click pass hash. Okay, and it is a method. So I'm going to open. Uh, one bracket, okay, and this is going to hold the value of text password dot text. So and I'll close it off here. Okay, so I hope that makes a bit of sense. Okay, uh, so this will actually write the uh, uh, to the database. Okay, let's look at reading. So I need to go again. I'm going to go to my login form. Okay, and uh, uh, login dot cs, and I'm going to do exactly the same. Okay, again, I want to uh, instantiate the class uh, here, just like I did here with uh, register CS. You can see uh, here, uh, instantiate the class. Okay, uh, uh, so I'll just copy this. Uh, so you remember here, and I go to login.cs. Okay, and again, you can see it here. So again, I can. You put this anywhere, um, instantiate the class. Okay, and this is where it's going to be read. Okay, uh, uh, the uh, values. Okay, so where, where it's being passed in. Okay, uh, text pass dot text. Okay, so I can uh, type in uh, again. Let's use our telesense. So hj. Uh, sorry, hc. Should I say hc? Okay, dot, okay, and there's my pass hash method. Okay, again, parentheses, be the method. Okay, and what goes into it will be text dot pass. So I'll just cut that, paste that in there. Okay, and that will now read the hash code uh, that has been written to the database. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just try this now. Okay, uh, so let's run our, our code. Okay, uh, so bring this over here. So I want to register a new uh, user. Okay, so we'll say this is Mary. Okay, her password is pass. And our full name is Mary Murphy. Okay, uh, we click submit. So the user is added to the database. Okay, closes up. Well. Okay, let's try now. So Mary and pass and we'll go to login and it says hello Mary Murphy okay so it doesn't look uh, any too different from what we looked at in the past but now let's look at our database data okay so show table base data okay now I can see okay where the password field here for Mary Murphy I can see this long string okay so anybody who actually glances at your database uh, will have uh, will not be able to or gets access to your database user table somehow. Okay, will not be able to work out that this is the word pass. Okay, and that's encrypting values in the database field. Okay, thank you for your attention.